Welcome back Year 3, this is Tuesday, it's your English lesson. Check you've got your pencil, your ruler and your English book with you. If you've got a new page today, great. If you're finishing off half a page, that's fine as well. Can you jot down the date and hello and underline it with a ruler? Pause the video. OK, so today we're going to be asking some more questions about this particular character and we're going to be exploring other characters that there might be in this story as well. So I'd like you to have a little think about the girl in the picture. Yesterday I gave you some information about the girl. I wonder if you remember what I told you about her. Pause the video and have a think. OK, so I told you that her name was Emily and that she is ambitious and determined. I wonder if you know what those two words mean. I'm going to explain just in case you don't. So the word ambitious means like you're going to you want to succeed with something. You want to achieve something. And determined means she's not going to give up very easily. She likes adventures, we know that, and we know she's 10 years old. And the last thing we know about her is that she, oh, I'm moving things around, I don't want to move. The last thing we know about her is that she has never been to this place that she's in before. This is a new land or a new place. Okay, I'd like you now to write down two questions um, two questions. Um, have a think about what you'd like to know about her. What else would you like to know about this character? Pause the video, make sure you've got your question marks at the end of your questions. Off you go. Okay, well done. I had to think about this as well and I've come up with a few questions of my own. I was really wondering where she's come from. I was really wondering, um, is the parrot a pet or is the parrot someone she's found on the, on the way? I was wondering if the parrot and herself could talk to each other. You know, how, I noticed that they, were, they seem to be looking at each other in a quite a knowing sort of way. So I'm wondering if they can actually communicate. I also wondered why she decided to go on this adventure. Perhaps she's looking for something or perhaps there's something wrong and she wants to solve this problem. Um, and I wondered how she came to be in a hot air balloon. Now we don't have hot air balloons um, that we can all go up in whenever we want to, do we? So I wondered where she got this hot air balloon from. I wonder if it was hers. I wonder if it was um, from someone else. So because this is a story we're writing, you have the power to decide the answers to your questions. You don't need to write them in your book, but I just want you to think about them, okay? So now you can have a think about where this girl's from, who this parrot is, can they communicate? You're going to um, have a think about maybe why she's going on this adventure. And you're going to decide where this hot air balloon came from and answer any questions that you've written in your book. Pause the video and just have a think about those things. Well done. Now, um, we are going to be planning our story a little bit later on in the week. And if you if you change your mind on any of these things that you've been thinking about, that's fine. These are just initial thoughts that we can we can keep or we can change. OK, now I pointed out something yesterday in the background of our picture that other mysterious hot air balloon. And often in stories, there is a sort of villain, isn't there? Um, the bad guy. And in our story, there is going to be a villain and the villain is going to be in that other hot air balloon. And so today you're going to create a character and you're going to write about your character that you've decided to choose. Now, the one thing I would say is we need to keep it um, to this picture. We need to be quite careful um, because 
for example, it, it, um, it, we don't really want ideas like, you know, a big dinosaur. I don't think that would really work with this picture. We need to really think about um, if I was in this picture, what sort of characters might there be in this particular story? OK, so um, you might want to pause the video and have a think now, just looking at the picture to help you. Or you might have your idea already. And what we're going to do is we're going to give our villain a name. We're going to describe our villain and then we're going to draw a picture of our villain. Now, sometimes in the classroom, when we do an activity like this, we spend about half an hour drawing it, don't we? And we end up having about five minutes to actually write the description. Well, I don't want that happening today. So can you make sure that you um, you create your name first? You write the description second. Um, we want a paragraph here and then you may draw your picture um, and then colour it if you have time, you could do. Um, for a little challenge, I'd like to see if you can use some noun phrases to describe your character, maybe perhaps describing what they look like um, and what sort of person they are. Um, I wonder if you remember what a noun phrase is. So I'll give you a clue. Adjective noun. Adjective noun. So it might be that your character has an evil grin. Perhaps your character has um, a black cloak. Um, so I'll leave you with that thought. And then what sort of person they are? Well, I'm going to show you a word list now, which might help you. So it might be that you pause the video now and you think of their name and then you start video again after that. And then I give you some words to help you describe your character. OK, so you might want to do that now. Well done. And then now I'm going to give you some words to help you describe. Now, on this word list, there are a lot of words, but we're just going to pick out um, ones that we, we understand and ones that I think are appropriate for our story. So um, we're going to go through together. Please don't use words that you don't understand the meaning of. OK, so you need to know them to be able to use them. Let's look together, though. We're going to really narrow these words down. So um, your character might be atrocious, might have some atrocious looking, I don't know, clothes or whatever. Um, your character might be awful. They might be beastly. They might be brutal. They might be dangerous. They might be they might be disgusting. They might be evil. They might be harmful. They might be heartless. That would be a good one to describe a villain's um, personality, wouldn't it? Um, they might be hideous. They might be um, revolting would be a good one. They might be rogue. That means like a bit wild almost. And they might be ruthless. Show no, no mercy. <laughs> They might be terrifying or a thief. OK, I would strongly suggest that you use the words I've um, highlighted in blue. Um, and we're going to pop these words into that character description. So tell me what they look like, describe what they look like and describe what their personality is. Okay. You might have some of your own ideas as well, and that would be fine too. So um, I'm going to leave it on this slide today. Remember to flip back in the video if you need the other slides, that's not a problem. Um, and make sure that you spend some time in your character description today. All right, can't wait to see these. See you next time.